I've got my crafting cap on, aka the fail cap, and I have the styrofoam head that I've had for years. I got it when I made the original Shadow People movie. Uh, his name is Marvin, and it's what we blame for all the problems that went wrong in the first Shadow People movie. So hopefully, by having Marvin here, I'll be able to avoid problems this time around. And I blame it all on Marvin anyway. Anyway, so I've stuck the neoprene balaclava to him. The reason I did that is because I'm going to try and make the other part of the wig cap. I got some patterns from Kimpatsu Cosplay. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's supposed to go like this. I printed it out from their site. And it's supposed to attach on here kind of like this, but it looks kind of small to me. I'm worried it's going to be smaller than I need, because it just is. So what I'm going to do is modify it, which sounds like a terrible idea, and it probably is. I'm going to use this as kind of like a base, this. And what I plan on doing is, instead of tracing it onto the neoprene like a normal human being would, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the neoprene, I'm going to draw like a wide edge around it so that it's much bigger, and hopefully it'll do what I want. I foresee problems, but... Hopefully not that bad. I want to start this by saying that I've never used a sewing machine before tonight. I got this sewing machine recently as a gift, and I'm going to try using it to see what I can do for this thing. It's very scary to me. I, I may have put too many pins in it, I don't know. Um, I'm going to be going very slow when I try to do this. Um, it's going to be boring but hopefully it does what I want. And I realized that I had too many pins in it, so that was kind of making it difficult to manipulate. So I took out some of the pins. I might take out pins as I go. I don't know. It was, they, it was only like a few seconds that they showed for footage of them sewing this thing, so. I'm gonna hope that I don't mess it up. This part has taken me so long to do. It's taken me as long as everything else put together so far to make this costume. Like, the mask was nothing compared to this. It's definitely not gonna be right if I do it by hand. Um, it's, it's just, it's not going to be. So, I'm gonna try to get it done with the sewing machine and hope that I don't mess it up at the last second. This was my test of the sewing machine. And it was my first time ever using a sewing machine. And now I'm gonna do it for real. Not, it's not even like an hour later. I'm extremely nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very nervous about doing this. I've never done anything like this before. I don't think I have enough to give. 
think I need to push these pins back a bit further so that I have more room. I still think I have too many pins. You gonna help me? Yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing, huh? You can't help on this one, Frankie, I'm sorry. There's no knives to grab. I made sure to clear off all the knives. I know, right? Very exciting, isn't it? Yeah. What is this thing I'm doing? What do you do? Don't eat that. It's for clay. Oh no. This is the end, right here. Again, the neoprene fabric is very stretchy and things keep popping into places that they're not supposed to be. So it keeps making me really nervous. All right, that did it. Now to do back stitching a little bit. I think it's done. My goodness, Frankie, do you know what we've done? I can't believe that I did it. And it's turning out pretty good. I am very happy with this. Very, very happy. Oh. Now, I have the very hard task of making dozens and dozens and dozens of little fur spikes to put them all over it. So I've cut out a fur spike. So I've cut out a fur spike.